This is Pam Athwell's character um, called Terry. Um, I thought it was written very precisely with an economic language, um, very, very specific, which was good. I um, found it easy to read and I had a clear idea of this character. Um, now, I'm very clear that he uses money to gain relationships and friends, which masks his intimacy problems, and that's very clear, which is good, and that's one big idea. Then there's a second big idea, um, where he comes from an impoverished background, and he rejects his parents, um, only willing to send them money and keep a relationship in that kind of way, regular diet, debits or whatever. Um, which is also an interesting idea. And I don't think they're necessarily contradictory, but that's one possible danger that they're two very big ideas. It's making sure that they do work together because we have to get to the source of his intimacy problems. And do those come from his upbringing and his childhood? And if that's the case, then we've also got the underprivileged bit. He's rejected them for their lack of money and his desire to make money in later life. So it's just clearing those ideas. Um, I like the idea he's a control freak. Um, he's short-tempered, violent, and that's clear to me that it comes from his frustrations, his lack of intimacy in his life. And I think I especially liked the fact that he had a cat and his only re sort of long-term relationship now was with his cat, the cat who he abused. Um, that's clear. One other danger with this is, is also that maybe that there's nothing to sympathise with him about because you know we can't see any kind side to him except the fact that he sends his family this money but it's only to assuage his guilt um, so just maybe be aware of that maybe bring something which makes him more vulnerable we need to see his more vulnerable side um, and going back to these two big ideas we do have the two current crises with the girlfriend leaving in the middle of the night uh, and it's very clear that she wants to avoid some kind of contract uh, conflict which suggests either physical or verbal or, or, or both um, so you know that's an idea to explore as well um, make it clear if he is a physically violent person or just um, verbally violent um, but otherwise I think it's an excellent portrayal you know, I thought it was really clear and good and maybe just cl clarify the two big ideas about how they work together rather than opposing each other